because I'm a girl, I must study. Long denied this right, I must study for the battles I must fight. I must study because I'm a girl, I must study. An activist, a poet, an author, a role model and a feminist icon. All of this was Kamla Bhaseen, widely recognized as a pioneer of the women's rights movement in South Asia. One of the most dynamic and vocal critiques of toxic patriarchy, Bhaseen spent most of her adult life fighting injustice, discrimination and gender-based violence and building bonds of solidarity with women across borders. In this video, let's take a look at her life. Kamla Bhaseen was born on April 24, 1946 in Shahidawali village in Gujranwala district of pre-partition Punjab. She was the fourth of six siblings. When her father got a job as a doctor in Bharatpur, Rajasthan, her family moved back to India. She grew up in various small towns and villages of Rajasthan and completed her final years of schooling in Jaipur. She completed her BE from Jaipur's Maharani College and MA in Economics from Rajasthan University. She received a fellowship and went on to study Sociology of Development for four semester at Menstra University in West Germany. She taught at the Orientation Center of the German Foundation for Developing Countries in Bad Honef for a year. In 1972, she returned to India and joined the Udaipur-based voluntary organization Seva Mandir. While working for the NGO on water issues, she noticed how caste infests Indian society and governance. When Brahmins are given state funds in case of droughts, while others' wells go dry. Her understanding of intersectional vulnerabilities developed when she saw the gender biases firsthand and realized that women are worse off across castes. Later, she started working with the UN's Food and Agricultural Organization in Thailand and conducted gender training for women from South Asia. Four years later, she got posted in New Delhi. In 1980, when thousands of women in India across cities took to the streets in protest of the Supreme Court's acquittal of the police constables in the Mathura rape case, Kamla Bhaseen was one of them. She attended protests, performed street plays, and set out not only to educate citizens about equality and social justice, but also to motivate them to fight against intersecting oppressions faced by the marginalized sections of society. A vocal and committed feminist, she spoke about the sexual abuse she had suffered as a young girl and went on to write a book on the subject for children, if only someone had broken the silence. <laughs> इसकी इज्जत चली गई और मेरी इज्जत क्यों गई भाई मेरी योनी में किसने रखी थी इज्जत अगर किसी की इज्जत जाती है तो बलात्कारी की इज्जत जाती है क्या बात है हमारी इज्जत नहीं जाती In 1998 she started Sangat a South Asian feminist network to campaign for gender justice she trained over 600 South Asian women from different walks of life on gender equality, social justice, poverty, sustainable living, peace, democracy and human rights. In her career spanning nearly five decades, she co-founded several women's groups, including a resource center Jagori, to address issues like women's health and education, violence against women, both in rural and urban areas. She was actively involved in the fight for amendments in rape laws, the Shah Bano protests, the anti-Sati agitation when Roop Kanwar was burnt alive along with her husband's dead body, and the anti-dowry movement. From these events emerged one of Bhaseen's earliest songs, Tor Tor Ke Bandhano Ko Dekho Behne Aati Hai. She is also known for popularizing the clarion chant of Azadi, a cry among the youth against all form of oppressions. During national conferences of autonomous women's organizations in 1990, for the first time the Azadi slogan echoed all plenary sessions. And in the next 30 years, Azadi slogans reached not only in every part of India, but also among social movements across South Asian countries. 
Kamla supported feminists who were fighting the legal battle in Rajasthan High Court and in the Supreme Court of India against Bhanwari Devi gang rape case, among several others. Kamla Bhasin remained dedicated to the women's movement even in the face of personal struggles. She lost her 27-year-old daughter Meeto Malik, a brilliant activist and social worker, to suicide in the year 2006. Her younger son, Jeet Malik or Chotu, developed cerebral palsy due to a severe reaction to a certain vaccine as a baby. Bhasin has written over 30 books and about 8 works for young children. Her books like Understanding Gender, What is Patriarchy, Exploring Masculinity, Women and Boundaries have proven to give a new perspective to tackling policy issues related to gender imbalances in the society. She also compiled a bunch of fun and sweet rhymes for children in books like Equality Between Girls and Boys, Leela Chotu, Housework is Everyone's Work. As most titles suggest, dozens of her books, poems, children's stories and songs simplified concepts of feminism and patriarchy for people of all ages in cities and villages alike. She aimed to break the jargon and demystify feminism. She has penned more than 200 songs, many during feminist workshops which have been sung at protests and events. Her writings have been translated into more than 10 languages and are used as training materials. She always maintained that feminism is not a war between men and women. It is a fight between two ideologies. One that elevates men and gives them power and the other that advocates for equality. Kamla believed that there cannot be women's liberation without the liberation of humankind and vice versa. Kamla Basin passed away on September 25, 2021 at the age of 75 following a spirited battle against liver cancer. She leaves behind a legacy of sustained resistance, determination, strong willpower and resilience in the fight against patriarchy and the journey towards a world where women can be themselves. Because I'm a girl, I must study. To fight men's violence, I must study. To end my own silence, I must study. To challenge patriarchy, I must study. To demolish all hierarchy, I must study. Because I am a girl, I must study.